Hi, welcome to Java Coding Assist. In this video, we are going to see how Spring security is applied to our Spring Boot application. How our application is secured by Spring security. What happens under the hood? Spring security is integrated into Spring Boot applications using filters. As you know, filters are used to pre-process and post-process the incoming request and the outgoing requests respectively. All the incoming requests will be dispatched to the controllers by the dispatcher servlet. But before the request reaches the controllers, it goes through a set of filters that is handled by the delegating filter proxy chain. As we have included security, our request will pass through the security filter chain too. This security filter chain delegates the authentication work to the authentication filter. This filter is responsible to check whether the incoming request is from an authenticated user. This authentication filter checks this by checking the security context holder, which holds the information about the user who has been logged in currently. The user who has been logged in is called as a principal here. This context holder holds the information about the user who has been logged in right now. If it is anonymous or if it is empty, this indicates that the incoming request is from a user who hasn't, who is not authenticated. So this authentication filter calls the authentication manager the authentication manager is responsible for authenticating the user and it selects one of the authentication provider to authenticate the user. This authentication provider creates an authentication token that is he takes the username and password from the request and he verifies it whether he is an authenticated user and if it is yes, he just sets the authentication token that is the information about the logged in user, a valid user into the security context holder and gets back to the authentication filter. Now, the authentication filter knows the user has been logged in and he is an authenticated user and it also checks whether he is authorized to access that particular endpoint. Currently, authenticated user has access to that particular endpoint. It redirects the request to the corresponding controller and the request is served. For subsequent requests from the same user who is already authenticated, the authentication filter just checks whether he is authorized to access that particular resource and it forwards the request to the controllers and the controllers serves the request. There are so many implementations of authentication filter like basic authentication filter, username password authentication filter, OAuth2 authentication filters to authenticate the user. We can also write our own custom authentication filters to authenticate the user. These authentication filters goes through a list of authentication providers where the actual implementation to authenticate is written. You can also write your own custom authentication providers where you write the logic to authenticate the user. I have given a brief explanation of what happens with Spring security under the hood. We can see about authentication filters and providers later in this series in detail. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like the content. Bye.